Hey, when you're brand new, you need help more than anyone else. Okay, if you think about it, 92, most people don't know this, 92% of new insurance agents fail within the first three years. I'm gonna give you the specifics of what I believe and what I know and what you need to know so that you can instantly make sure that you are not another statistic. Okay, so stay with me. Also, I'm gonna offer a special bonus at the end. When you stay with me for the whole video, I'm gonna reward you later, okay? The first one, the first tip, as I go over five tips for new insurance agents, the first one is most insurance agents don't realize that you need to always be learning. And when I say learn, most, most people think, okay, I can, go, I can go learn, I can go study, I can go read a book, oh, and then, okay, now I can just move on. Right? When, when, when we put out content, like our new CA sales system, it's got well over 250 videos in that thing. And when, when, when an agent plugs in, right, they, they need to watch about 12 minutes per day, twice a day. Okay, so I recommend 24 minutes per day of learning. Okay, 12 minutes the beginning of the day and either 12 minutes at lunch or at the end of the day. Okay, so that's how you break it up. Because you think about that for a second. If you do the math and you think about that, that is, that is about, that is, at, 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 at five days, that's about 120 minutes per week. Okay, which ends up being right at two hours per week. You need to always be learning. Well, most people, you're either moving forward or moving backwards. You never stay in the same place. You, when you think, oh, I'm going to watch these 32 videos, I'm going to know everything, I don't need to re-watch them, you're wrong. You need to watch the content, you need to re-watch the content, you need to re-watch the content, you need to re-watch the content until it becomes part of you. You need to continually re-watch it, you need to role play, you need to reenact it, you need to have quizzes and workbooks like we do with our CA cell system. Everything you need to know, it needs to become part of you so that you're not just simply learning and then forgetting it later, you're continually always learning. Uh, the most successful people in the world are always learning every single day. They do not go backwards. They realize that they're coachable and they realize they need to learn constantly. So the first tip is you need to always be learning. You're not moving forward, you're going backwards. And that's what I recommend every single day, right? Plug it in daily, daily, daily. That's consistency, okay? The next piece is you need to get frequent. And if you think about that, you could say, well, you need to get active, right? Most insurance agents, Think, well, I need, I, I need to know everything before I do anything. That is incorrect. That is not correct, okay? Yes, you want to know a lot, but you can do stuff along the way while you're learning. The best way to learn is on the fly. And you got to think about this. You got to get frequent before you can ever get great, right? Everyone wants to be great, but you can't be great if you're not frequent. If you're not put in the work every single day, you're never going to get great, right? How could you? Most people think I'm going to walk in, I'm going to sell this person on my first appointment ever, and I'm going to be amazing. And it's going to be an easy career. And I'm going to, you know, high five each other in line at the bank, and I'm going to make a million bucks, and all, all of a sudden this is going to be the easiest career in the world. No, it's very difficult. Now, can you succeed? Absolutely. Do I want you to succeed? Absolutely. But you cannot get great until you get frequent. Okay, you need to be active constantly every day. You need to be putting up numbers. You need to be. If, if you've got to make 100 calls a day, make the 100 calls. You're never going to be great on the phone until you pick up the phone time and time again. Pick it up, okay? The third tip is you need to do the math. What does that mean? Well, first you need to have a goal, right? What does that look like for you? What is the goal? And then you need to break down the numbers, okay? I'm a big believer in goals. When I was a brand new agent, I set a goal. I want to make 100 grand, right? Because when I, I walked into my first recruiting meeting ever. Quick story, Okay. I walked into my first recruiting meeting ever as a brand new agent. I was an intern calling out of a phone book for a veteran agent. Then I decided I want to become a full-time agent. Okay. I was 20 years old. I was in college taking 21 credit hours a semester, playing basketball, games, tournaments, weekends, all that, right? Most people would have made excuses. Would you make excuses? Well, hope not because I did not. But what I did is I showed up to a recruiting meeting and the manager, there was 10 of us in a room and the manager said, okay, all 10 of you stand up. All right. And I'm like, well, I'll be standing up. You know, I start looking around, start sizing people up. Okay. And then he says, okay, nine of you sit down. So nine of us sit down. He says, maybe one of you will make it. I'm like, dang, dude, that's a, that's a real positive way to start this whole deal. Okay. But I also thought 
if there's going to be a one, I'm going to be the one. If there's going to be a one, I want you to be a one. Okay. I want you to be a one. I don't want you to be a statistic. I want you to succeed, which is why I'm going over these specific tips. In that moment, I set a goal. I did the math and I said, I will earn. I wrote it down and I want you to do this right now. I will earn $100,000 my first year. I dated it. I signed it and I put up in the wall of my cubicle. And every day I went out to make that a reality every single day. And not only what I did was I wrote it down because you need to you need to write it down. You need to let everyone know that that is your goal. And then you need to keep writing it down daily so that your mind is always on that goal. I'm, the best way to achieve a goal is to set it big target, right? and then repeat it and then consistently remind yourself that that is the target. Okay, so that's tip number three. Do the math. In your case, what is the math? Well, maybe it's like everybody else. Maybe it's a hundred grand. Okay, well, a hundred thousand dollars is two thousand dollars a week. Okay, two thousand dollars a week is four hundred dollars per business day. Okay, so how do you make four hundred bucks? Maybe it's one cell. Maybe you only need five cells per week to actually end up hitting the 100K later on, right? It's that weekly consistency that actually makes up all of those results. Where you end up really happy at the end of the year, oh my gosh, I can't believe I achieved this. But it, it, a big goals can scare people. Chop away, right? Chop some wood on a little goal every week. If you hit one goal this week, you can hit one goal next week. If you hit next week, you get the following week. Okay, so do the math, all right? Fourth tip. Fourth tip is you need to see the people. See the people. I, I teach this this, uh, this this weekly system called Triple S, right? It's set, sit, and sell. For me, I always wanted to set 15 appointments, sit with 10 to sell five. What does that look like for you? Most people fail because they don't set enough appointments. They don't set up appointments because they don't make enough calls, right? They don't make enough calls because they don't have enough stuff to call. And when they do, don't, they, and, then, and then later when they don't set up appointments, they either blame their skill, they blame the leads, or maybe because they don't have appointments, they don't sit, sit with enough people. We don't sit with enough people, they don't make enough sales, they don't make enough sales, they don't make enough money, we don't make enough money, you quit, right? We did a virtual conference recently on the topic, if you don't quit, you can't fail. Most of you quit way too soon. So my challenge to you is do not quit. Take this thing seriously. I believe in you. You were meant to do something big and see the people. How do we see the people, right? Set, sit, sell. Every single week. I don't know what that saying is, right? Chop wood and carry water, right? Every week, what do you need to do? What does that math break down to? And what can you do on a weekly basis every single week so that you end up seeing enough people to succeed? I promise you, if you ask me, Cody, would you rather the worst salesperson in the world that, saw, that, saw, that sat with 10 every week or the best salesman in the world that sat with two. I'll take the worst every day of the week. You don't wanna be the worst, but I would take the worst because of the frequency, right? You get the concept, you get the idea. Fifth tip, fifth tip is to rinse and repeat, right? Always be learning. This isn't a, this isn't a sometimes thing. Get frequent. You gotta be frequent to get great, right? That creates consistency. This is one of the biggest things that, it, that agents in our industry don't realize is that this is the most important piece to you succeeding as a new insurance agent. Okay. You can't get great until you get frequent. I want you to be frequent, right? I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you to be lazy. I want you to put in the work, put in the time and show up and do it. Do the math. What's it look like for you? What's your goal? And then write it down every single day. Write your goals. I, I, I write my goals every single day. I do five things every single day. Right? I wake up about 5.45 to 6 o'clock. I write down my goals. I work out. Okay, I got to get my energy up. Energy is everything. Enthusiasm is everything. Energy is everything. I learn video, book, audio book, and then I finish with a cold shower. That's my routine. You got to have a routine. Right? You want to create, you want to be consistent. You want to be frequent. Right? You want to hit your goals. You got to create those success habits. And those come from having a daily routine. Now, I'll do that on, that's for another video. Okay? So do the math. Are you, have you done the math yet? If you haven't, my challenge to you right now is, as soon as this is over, sit down by yourself before you keep watching videos and do the math. I challenge you to sit and do the math.
okay? I really do. Take a couple minutes. I promise you'd be worth it. If you make 100 grand in, in, in 12 months or you made a million bucks in 10 years, all because you took 60 seconds to actually sit down and do the math, would it be worth it? Yes, it would, okay? Then you gotta see the people every day, right? And then rinse and repeat. I'm telling you, these are the five tips for new insurance agents. You can succeed, you can make the kind of money you want, and you don't wanna be a statistic like everyone else, okay? And I promise you a special bonus. The special bonus is, if you want me to train you or your team to help you be better, or even if you want a free strategy call, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com, and I'll do my best to hear you out and help you succeed. Hey, you're making some big money, right? Your wallet's getting all fat, you're getting excited when you go to the bank. What are you gonna do now, right? You need to know some tax strategies. I got the video for you. Click on that with my buddy J.D. Frost, and I'll see you there. An individual tax return has a one in a hundred chance of being pulled for audit. If you make over a million dollars, you have a one in 10 chance.